Hey everybody, it's Cindy Matalucci, your host of The Pulse and live with Cindy. It's January 2020. Welcome to 2020, guys. Are you ready for a new year? I'm so, so excited. I can't believe that it's 2020. It sounds so weird saying mm -hmm. 2020. I thought it would be like way into like, <laughs> I don't know, it would be a different, it would be different when I was saying 2020, but it feels really good this year. And I know that this is the year to elevate your business. We wanna help you elevate your business. So if you guys have a story for us, if you have an event that you want exposure for, you've got an idea or a topic that you wanna hear, we wanna hear from you guys. So please hit us up at the Pulse SD on social media or the pulsesd.com slash live. Um, tell us what you want to hear from us. What kind of content do you want? We've got some amazing stories coming up. Our live shows are going to be fabulous. We have some great guests. So I can't wait to help elevate your business. I want to shout out to our sponsor, which is Coffee Ambassador. They are in Sereno Valley. They are the best coffee delivery service in San Diego. They keep our guests caffeinated as well as all of our team. So we want to thank you guys so much. Coffee Ambassador, we love you. Okay, so without further ado, you guys, I'm so excited to welcome my first guest for 2020, Jesse Medina. How are I'm you? Good. I'm doing so good. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to have you. So you basically are the founder of Femex Quarters, Femex Summit, host of Femex Podcast. I mean, there's nothing that she doesn't do. <laughs> so I'm so excited. I found her on Instagram, um, stalked her on Instagram, loved what she was doing to empower her community. So I'm so excited that you are here today to Thank share you. your story. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. We can't wait. Okay, so tell everybody, because you are a social entrepreneur, gender equity advocate, diversity consultant, mm -hmm. the founder of Femex, which is actually like a female empowerment movement. It is. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so Femex as a whole, it stands for Female Empowerment Movement and Experiences, and we just create different platforms and resources for women to help advance women and elevate their voices. And so we have with Femex Quarters, we mm -hmm. have you know a event venue, a co-working space where people, entrepreneurs, can come and work from there and connect with each other, and you know we have the podcast to inspire women and share stories and help you relate to others, and then we also have the summit, which is coming up. So we, we have a lot to talk about. I'm so excited. Well, and I, her space is amazing, you guys. We're going to show you some pictures and, and talk about that a little bit um, in the future. But tell us a little bit about your story because you really went through a lot. Oh, I've been through so much. I mean, you immigrated from Argentina at 15. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about your story and how you kind of got to where you are. Okay, yeah. So I came here at 15. My family brought me here. I actually didn't want to come because I was just a teenager and I was like, I'm going to miss my family, my friends, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I would cry myself to sleep. And I had like a lot of, uh, you know, challenges when I first moved here because the language barrier and, you know, I just didn't know anybody. We moved to Utah, so I didn't even know anybody else that spoke Spanish there. Wow. So it was really challenging at first. And I was just having like, kind of like a breakdown, you know, every, every night, really. Um, but it really challenged me to step up, to learn the language. I was speaking English within a few months. You wow. Know? It just really showed me that you can do anything uh, that you, you know, work for. <laughs> you have to work hard, though. Yeah, but you also, I mean, you went into the corporate world, too, right? Yes, so yes. you ended up being like a VP of marketing. Mm -hmm. And then so getting to where you are now, it was definitely not a straight path. No. Definitely no. I actually went through a lot. So like I said, I was a dreamer immigrating here and I had to pay for college out of pocket. I had like a bunch of jobs and one of those jobs was a marketing job and I had the opportunity to help someone launch a business and do their mm -hmm. marketing and that's really what gave me the opportunity to grow. And then, you know, I started doing PR and kind of helping other businesses. And eventually I climbed my way up, but it took years, you know, it took years. And eventually I got to be VP of marketing and I started seeing a lot of the things and the issues that are still out there for women. And that's what really got me passionate about showing up in that space and doing something for, for us. And we both have that corporate background, and I saw that a lot, too. A lot of the boys' club or a mm -hmm. lot of things that were yeah. happening that, you know, it wasn't as easy for women. Mm -hmm. And I feel like now we're really having that discussion, mm -hmm. which is really important. But you also founded Femme Latinas, right? Yes. So when I first quit my job, <laughs> so then eventually I quit my corporate job, moved to San Diego, just like that. Within two weeks, made mm -hmm. the decision, moved here and started my own business. And then I was like, I really wanna do something to help women, to help other entrepreneurs. And that's, my mom and I started Femme Latinas, which is focused on helping Latina women mm -hmm. uh, to inspire, connect them, and just kinda like give them resources where they can grow. 
And yeah, I mean, it was really amazing. Uh, our events would always get sold out. We had high demand for everything. And so people were started asking for a membership, how they could get involved. And one thing led to another. So then we started doing a summit and mm -hmm. just kind of like. And so that's kind of how FemX Quarters kind of developed. Right. Yes, because we needed a space. It was always hard to find a venue for the events. Um, you know, I was working at a co-working space, but mm -hmm. I wasn't really finding community there. Okay. You know, the, the people that worked there were just in different industries, maybe tech or other things. And I just couldn't find my tribe there. Okay. And then I would leave the co-working space and go and hang out with my community and be like, I want a place for us. You know, I have a bunch of female entrepreneurs that are friends and like I wanted to create a space for them and us to work out of there. And that's how the idea came about. And you should see this space. We're gonna be running some pictures of this. It's phenomenal. I absolutely love it. So let's talk about the space itself because mm -hmm. what, I mean, what can people expect? There are memberships, like full-time, part-time? We have how both. How does it work? So we want to be really accessible. So we have a part-time membership. It's literally like $99. And okay. you get to go part-time, you know, 11 days out of the month. And then we do have a full-time membership, which is a regular membership. And we also do events there. So if you want to host workshops, if you want to host anything, really, you can uh, come check us out. It's so it. amazing. And you guys, have, they have a three-day complimentary pass at femquarters.com, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. that you guys Femexquarters. Can, Femexquarters. Yeah. com that you can go to. So, and we'll have everything on the website as well. So it's 1919 San Diego Avenue. Now, I want to talk about the events that you have coming up because this is exciting. You have Femex Summit. Yes, that's the next event. I'm okay. super excited. We did it last year, and it was amazing. We've gotten so many great testimonials. I made such a huge difference in the people that came. Um, so this one's going to be January 11th, and it's just so much fun. Uh, the first 100 attendees get a passion planner, so that alone is, like, incredible. you got to have a planner. Yeah. It's it's an incredible planner. I use it myself, and I vouch for it. I just love it. So so tell, tell the viewers, like, what would they expect to get out of something like this? Yeah, so this is pretty much a very hands-on event. So you're okay. going to go there. We're bringing different speakers and experts, and you're going to learn about business planning, strategy, PR, anything that you could, social media, anything that you can use for your business to grow your business. And so it's it's really incredible. You walk away with an accountability sister, okay. and you walk away with a planner and a plan for your entire year. So it's wow. really incredible. And like clarity. Yes, and new friends. Because really that's our main goal. One of our main goals is connection, and you really do connect with other people there. I love that. And how do people find out about your events? I mean, what's the best place to find out what you're having there? You can go to uh, femexquarters.com or okay. femexsummit.com for this one event. I'm so excited, you guys. We'll, again, we'll have everything on the website, but the first 100 tickets, you get the Passion Planner. So we have that on the screen. And then let's talk a little bit about what's next for you, because I know you've got goals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about that before the show. So I mean, for you, I mean, you've got so much on the horizon. I know you guys just got engaged, so congratulations yes, on thank that. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but what, what do you see yourself doing next? So for me, there's so many things that I want to do, but uh, the very next thing, I'm working on a book. So I'm writing a book. Um, I would love to get that published this year. And then I do want to speak internationally more. So mm -hmm. I've gone to Mexico so far, but you know, I'm from Argentina, so I really want to go to Latin America and just even Europe and just share this message. Because you do motivational speaking, yes, right? Yes, yes. That's amazing. And there's just so much out there to, to empower. I just love that. So that's on your list. And then anything else that you could maybe leave us with as an entrepreneur because you did take so many leaps yeah. and you know there were risks involved. Mm -hmm. Is there any tips that you can give the viewers if they want to be an entrepreneur, they want to go to their dream? Like what can they what can they do? I think the most important thing is to really know what you what you want, the clarity to know what you want, because otherwise you're gonna waste your time, you know, doing things that are not really serving you. So the first step is know what you want and go for that. Okay. And don't, you know, don't be scared. Whatever it is, just do it. I love that. Well, and you've do, you've done a great job. So thank you. Thank you so much. I just love everything that you're doing. I can't wait to follow you and see everything and read your book when it comes out. Yes. So you guys, you can follow Jesse at Jesse Medina Official on mm -hmm. Instagram. Yes. Get all the scoop there. Also, femexquarters.com. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. For everything that you need to know, any events that are having, go check out the space. Um, I'm really excited. We're partnering up for our elite networking group. You guys know I run my women's group. We're going to be partnering up at her location to have some of our breakfast events there. And we just cannot so wait. So you'll it's be seeing be a lot of social media. So yes. thank you for, for hosting us as well. Oh, it's my pleasure. That's what we're there for. Yeah. We love it. It's all about community. Well, you guys, we're, we're going we're gonna to go, but we'll have everything on the website. Thank you so much for being our guest, our first guest My of 2020. Pleasure. I look forward to elevating your business, and we'll see you guys next time when we put our finger on the pulse of San Diego.
Thanks, guys. Bye. Happy Friday. See you soon.